Hi everyone, today is the 20th of February 2024 and your word from spirit today is a explanation. I'm supposed to illust uh, illustrate, Jesus, I'm supposed to illustrate a picture for you so you are able to understand what I'm about to say. Okay, so you think that trusting God means that there will not be any fear on your way or on your path, right? you sort of have this idea of or a misconception that somehow you being in partnership with God is void of trials, tribulations, and terror. <sighs> but not true. And so Spirit wants me to highlight um, or illustrate this picture for you. If you've ever been to a haunted house, right? Or maybe, I don't know, this is the only illustration that's coming to me. You go to a haunted house and you get into certain sections of it and they've already aligned like a path, right? So it's like you enter into like a room and it's completely dark, completely dark. But as you enter into the room, you'll see like glowy footsteps of where you should go, right? That traces the way for you to go somewhere, right? That shows up on the floor because this whole setup is set up, right? But that doesn't mean that when the creatures pop out of places or there's scary things happening on every side, that you're not gonna be terrified while you're here. Mind you, you already have the awareness that there will be footprints showing you how to get out of this place. But as the creatures pop up, something happens. You move your eyes away from the path that you're supposed to be taking onto the creatures that are scaring you and the things that are distractions that are happening all around you. And then somehow you forget, you forget that the footsteps will lead you out of this little terror thing that you've put yourself into, right? And that's the illustration today. The illustration is you just have to keep your eyes on the path that's going to lead you out of the terror rather than fixate your eyes on the terror itself or the distractions or the things that's causing you fear and pain. Keep your eyes on the thing. And so trusting God looks like this. It looks like regardless of what pops up, my eyes stay fixated on the footsteps ahead of me so I can trace my steps out of this place. Okay, I, tr I trust God. Ooh, it popped up, but hey, there's another one. There's another clue. <laughs> it's kind of like a clue. It's like another clue or whatever. There's another another step to take. There's another thing that has been placed in front of you. There's another desire that has been put inside of you that says, hey, call this person. Go here. Do this. That's a clue. That's an indication. That's a sense of direction. That's what you're supposed to be focused on. Yes, there will be things that pop up like, oh my God, I just should be doing. No, stay focused. Stay focused on the path ahead of you and you will get to your destination. So today the reminder is stay focused. Just because you claim that you're serving God or you are you have the Holy Spirit or whatever and da 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 does not mean that you are void of all the distractions that come with life and all the pain and all the, you're not void of them, but in the midst of them, there are clues. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm done. There are clues today to show you the way out of the terror, the pain, the frustration, and all the things that you're going through right now. Stay focused. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.